Okay. Let's go into the sh Let's go in the sh Okay. Concerns. So this is what I was talking about we're watch going free to play. Concerns. Smurfing and cheating would be basically unstoppable. 253 likes are on it. And that is that is the most liked comment. It's it, it actually beats mine. It beats both of mine. It almost beats the whole post. Okay. And let's go through them. Um, toxicity in PvP concerning the people who play free to play may bring more toxic game culture. Like, not a terrible point. But at the same time, I didn't get ratio. My main post has more. So the main post has more. Um, eh, I talk. You're afraid of you're afraid of free to play because people might be more toxic. Like really? Um. Let's see. So, some people said I think good compromise for free to play trial version with quick play and maybe arcade and have a ranked and maybe things like workshop behind the paid version. This won't work because the whole point of free to play is to make the game available to everybody and on top of that too you want free to play to align with your your esport so that anyone who watches it can also have the quote same experience right you have the same experience as you know those those types of, of, of players right um they're just talking about it Mind a level 50 restriction. Having a high level restriction is not exactly a terrible thing. How about strict competitive rules? Perma banning Smurf and their main account. I'm talking about hardware bans. This is so f dangerous. This is such a dangerous mentality. And there's way worse further down, I'm telling you. I've seen them. So that's why we're going to go into it. Because this is f content. This is a dangerous f***ing mindset to have. Imagine, you know, being like, hey, you want to play my video game? No. You smurf in my game, you should never be allowed to play again. Um, Let's value of it. If the game is free, then there is less value to it interesting thought especially in lower ranks where it's already hard enough to climb when people who that what people wouldn't wait it's already hard enough to climb when there is people who care if you bring in a whole bunch of children who play comp for fun that ruins competitive for lower ranks okay there's a lot to unpack in that if you think okay you're in a low rank okay let's say you're in silver gold right if, and, and I'm saying this now because I've seen I see similar comments later, and we'll get to them. That people coming in, and you're saying you bring in a whole bunch of children who play comp for fun, aka it's a video game, that ruins competitive for lower ranks. Well, if you're in lower ranks, and you're taking it ultra serious, in my mind, you're one of two people. One, someone who flames your whole team the second something goes wrong because they're not playing the right comp, or they're not quote-unquote supporting you. Or B... Our hard stuck mentality that the reason you can't climb is because it's always your teammates. Yeah, Mac, I know. Mac, I know. I, I don't even want to talk about that. I don't even want to give any advertisement. Okay. <clears throat> like, if you are someone who truly is a competitor and trying to get better, this is the worst mindset you could ever have. And you will come, be stuck there forever and you will hate it. And you will never climb because you don't deserve to. That's it. There's nothing else to say about that. Um, free to a, free to play can lower cheating attempts. Wait, wait. F two A. Oh, two factor authentication. Okay, can lower cheating attempts and smurfing. Very good. True. Force the registration of non VOIP and phone numbers if you want. Uh, want to do rank. That's fire. that. I actually agree with that. I think that's Flash. actually very good. Egg now, egg now. Thanks for the prime for two months, my dude. I appreciate it. We're gonna watch my video thing. Thank you. Thanks so much for the prime. I actually agree with this. I actually like this a lot. Two factor authentication is very strong, um, but, it, but people can have fake phone numbers, so you'd have to. 
This part is where it gets tough. Um, there'd be stuff for it. The control for cheating and toxic behavior levers and folks throwing games would break the 4x the amount of you. Wait. The controls for cheating, toxic behavior levers, and folks throwing games would break with four times the amount of users. Changes would have to be s slower to as more than half the base would be newer folks. What does that mean? Again, this is the mentality of no new players play my video game. In my opinion, and and we're and we're gonna and trust me, chat. Just hold on for the ride. Don't go ahead. Just if you're watching this later, if this is a YouTube video, just chill. Okay, we'll get to it together because it's gonna be important to have the context. This is very an, a very dangerous game set mindset to have. It's an elitist mindset of don't play my video game other than me and the people who are already here. Increase the level restrictions. I think that's the big one. If you want to actually like tone down alt accounts and Smurf accounts. That's it. You you raise it. But then again, there's other ways around it because there's ways you can just buy leveled accounts online. But that's a different type of TOS. Smurfing is pretty bad in lower ranks and during the recent free-to-play weekend was basically unplayable in low ranks due to Smurfs. I'm Silver and I'll tell you now about one in four games has one or more Smurfs. They ruin a game because we all suck and they play too much. Okay. If Overwatch goes free to play, it needs to have a system preventing excessive smurfing. You may not see all the smurf games because you're in a rank where everyone is that good. I mean, in my rank, if you have a 4.1 average game and they have three alt accounts, alt accounts, so their SR is much lower than what they actually are, yeah, you get f shit stomped. But that's how the game is. Every game has that. We play a team-based shooter. That's, that's really tough to combat. And, the, and I think Overwatch's matchmaker does a decent job a lot of times trying to balance that out. And, 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 I, and I get the, the want for it to go away. Having, wanting it to go away is fine. Okay? I just think some of the ways people have, have said how it needs to be done is f dangerous um, for games. And I get, like, you know, it ruins the fun. Um, but as a competitive player, like a competitive competitive player like you're trying to be competitive playing in smurfs isn't that bad because you sh you improve a lot off of playing a smurf so like let's say you're let's say you're low gold and you play against a high diamond smurf every time you peek the same angle three or four times in a row let's say you always let's say junker town you always go top left high ground on the on the attack right you always go top left on second trying to take second you always go up in that window a smart player is going to know that you're doing that over and over. And every time you respawn, you're going there and you're hooking back up into the window. Boom. They're pre-firing you. You're dead. They already have you pre-aimed. You're dead. You will learn to play the game better if you get punished for mistakes. So from a competitive mindset, smurfing isn't a problem. The problem becomes is if you play competitive not for a competitive mindset. You play it to have fun and try to win games and play against players in your same rank. Then it's a problem. But if you're trying to be an improving player, which is where we get into the dangerous ones. It's the people that say they can't climb because of Smurfs is the dangerous mentality. Because you have... Statistically, there's a higher chance of a Smurf being on the other team than on your team because you exist. But... In the same breath, there's a statistical higher chance of there being a thrower on the other team than on your team. Because if you exist and you're not a thrower, you you only have a one in five chance. While the other team has, well, I guess sorry, that that doesn't that that uh, a one in six chance. So like they have six chances to have a, a thrower. Your team has five chances to have a thrower. And if you play with another player, that lowers it. You have a four in one in four chance as opposed to a. You know, like, every time they have an, an extra chance to try to have a thrower. You get what I mean? As long as you're assuming you're not a thrower, then it's you have a higher chance of them having one. But if they have a thrower, they have a higher chance of having one. Does that make sense? I know I was a little, like, rambly with that. But basically, one last time to sum it up. They have a higher chance of having a smurf because you exist. However, though, they also have a higher chance of having a thrower because you exist as a non-thrower, which means that your team only has five chances to have a thrower. Their team has six chances to have a thrower. Okay? That's where, you know, this line gets blurred. Okay. Um, without the need to pay, I feel like you'd have a lot Thanks. more toxicity Throwers throwers. Throwers are more dangerous than Smurfs in comp. Oh, 100%. 100%. Um... And that's its own different can of worms.
The other need to pay, I feel like you'd have a lot more toxicity throwers and people not taking the game seriously because who cares if your account gets banned, you'll just make another. Yeah, but if you just make another and you have to level it all the way to level 50, that's a pain in the ass for starters. Second off, again, what I just said, if you're not a thrower, your chances of having a thrower are lower than the enemy teams. Okay? And, and that's what I'm going to, from a climbing mindset, a climbing mindset, and a, and a getting better as a player mindset. That's very different than compa playing competitive to have fun with yourself or with friends. It's very different, okay? Another possibility is that it will reduce toxicity. If the stakes are lower, people can be more chill or at least have less of an excuse to be mad. Uh, I disagree with that. I disagree with that. Uh, it's definitely possible to have lower, but I think it's. I think it will definitely go up. Much I'll do. We have examples of this in Deco free to play games, LOL, Dota 2, see if you soon won't be in the case. Yeah, I, I agree. I agree. Um, I do say though, let's let's actually cover it really quick before we get too far down. The whole cheating thing. So so people were talking about actually actually, you know what, that's later. No, we'll talk about it later. We'll talk about it later. We'll talk about cheating after. Basically, I'll, I'll give a news flash. You should theoretically have less cheaters because Twenty dollars doesn't stop cheating now. Good cheats are hundreds of dollars a week slash month already. Twenty bucks ain't shit. If they're paying for big money for cheats, that ain't gonna do anything. If anything, having a larger player base will make less cheaters because you have less of a chance of having them because you have more players in the system. If you're a player, they would need to raise the level, play ranked fifty or more stuff Smurfs. Okay, I'm okay with that. I'm, I'm, I'm all for that. I think I think the level 50 is much more of a, a restricted than the $20. Rocket League, Call of Duty, Warzone, Fortnite, Smooth. Okay, this is a f algorithm joke. That's funny. Um, Battle Pass, Season Pass. Could get really anno annoying. Okay. I feel the casual where there are times where I cannot play every week. If it's a college, just life, etc. I do not like the idea of money consuming subscription instead of a one die time fee. Okay, so this is a very selfish idea of you don't like a battle pass this season because you don't get to play that often. So if you don't get to play that often, then you shouldn't be rewarded on the same level as players who play every day. Isn't that just common logic? If I play every day, eight hours a day, I should be able to grind for things that I don't want to pay for, right? I can grind credits, grind whatever it is, and you can get there. Or even levels on the battle pass. Let's say it's like Fortnite, right? Let's say there's a battle pass and it, you get to level 100, you get a bunch of like cool stuff, right? You can buy your way there, sure, or you can play the game. If you don't want to play the game, then you don't deserve those things unless you pay for it, right? Like, you getting everything for just handed to you for existing, I think, is kind of trash and it makes things less valuable and it makes things less rewarding. And it also is less of a reason for developers to, to make cool things and have things to work towards, aka more content. Um, but I understand this, but I think it's kind of selfish. Uh, when Destiny 2's game became free, the competitive mode Trials of Osiris was flooded with hackers and cheaters. Okay, very real possibility. So likely same thing would happen. I think the idea of making Overwatch 2 free to play or PvP free would be... Probably be annoying for a while if it gets flooded with cheaters. I think Overwatch's uh, cheater, uh, cheat detection is actually pretty decent compared to some games. So compared to most games. Don't get me wrong, it's not perfect. And, and don't get me wrong, I know there's a lot of people that complain about it. But we're not Call of Duty Warzone that has like four a game, right? There's a lot of games that, that have, and those are free-to-play games that have a lot of cheaters. But we already have a cheating problem. And I'm telling you, I don't think $15, $20 is stopping cheaters from playing. It's really not like if anything it's the level the level is what's stopping them and i think the reason i don't know what destiny has a, a as a as a level requirement to play comp i don't think warzone has a level it doesn't actually it doesn't make sense warzone wouldn't have a level of requirement to play comp if you had to level a new account every single time to go cheat i i feel like it's a little different now i know that you can obviously buy leveled accounts i'm not dumb but uh Regardless, though, this kind of aligns with my idea that it needs to be a much higher level for, for comp. That's the thing. They want to make extra money on the side. I would happily pay for special skins, too. Agreed. I think this is. I think that's 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 the part of the free-to-play model. Having special skins that people want. Like the Fortnite skins that people wanted forever. People shelled out 
mil millions and millions and millions of dollars because they loved the skins. It it, it also incorp it also promotes doing better work on the skins to make them better. I think people who want to make a dozen Smurf accounts love this idea. I think this is kind of a, just a cringe comment. I'm going to be honest. <clears throat> Expand the multiplayer to a much broader group of people, faster queues, more players. But to Blizzard to do that, they would literally have to have lost their damn minds. Okay, that's funny. Um, I think they would start charging people for either like legendary skins via in Game Pass. I think I actually was part of this conversation. They open Overwatch through regular loot boxes, or they'll just tell people to buy loot boxes if they want unlocks. I don't think the buy loot boxes is the way anymore. However, making it free to play would be amazing, or even making it cross platform. Oh, wow, this is where I was I was checking. I think cross platform for, before between Xbox and PlayStation would be fantastic, uh, but not PC. Do not cross PC and, and console. That's a terrible idea. Uh, they just would not have fun. Sorry, people who people wouldn't buy the non free to play stuff. Okay, RL has a massive booming trading market. Cod's bought stuff is the biggest part of it. Fortnite has an avid cosmetic following. No one buys loot boxes and owl tokens. Cannot support the game. I can't see it in its current state, but free-to-play Overwatch having optimal funds for development. Such pro... Huh? Yeah, no shit, No one buys loot boxes because you can just play a few games and you get a bunch of them for free. That's the whole point of it, having a, a battle pass where you have to grind to get to, like, good stuff at the end. A.K.A. you reward the people who play the game so you don't have to spend much money. You reward the people for playing constantly, and then those people who don't get to play constantly can pay for it as well. So it's not impossible to get it. Both people get what they want. They just have different ways of getting to it, and that's okay. Because you shouldn't get the best cool stuff if you don't play the game, because then it's no longer cool stuff if everyone has it, right? If, if let's say, let's say I had, let's say I had this Drazicult Pokemon card, right? If I had this Pokemon card, and only 150 people had this card. It would be a fucking sick card, right? Even though it's not hollow, even though it's not anything. If only 150 people had this card, it'd be worth a ton. People thought it was awesome. People thought it was sick. Now, every time if you opened a Pokemon pack, you got this card, it'd be worth nothing. It would be worth nothing. It would be a piece of shit. I think the same thing is kind of with, like, with how a content should work. And, and if you play the game a ton, you should be able to have it. But you should also be able to pay for it as well. Uh, at least for a limited time. Like, have seasonal stuff actually mean something in being seasonal. Okay. Um, something tells me the devs are break the game and make it easy for play new players that come in when it's free. High rank might be screwed. They don't take that route. I'm confused by that comment. Service and cheers would be an amazing problem. Look at Destiny 2. So you a good pull and not only trying to use the algorithm. I don't know much about Destiny 2, so you guys might be onto something with that. But again, I'm trying to learn. My concern is the way cosmetics would work. Say anything you want about loot boxes, but it's easier to get skins and other things with them than a battle pass system. Yeah, this is this is very much the I get it just by logging in. Like that's kind of trash in my opinion. Like if you've seen my account chat, I'm sure I'll show you guys again. I have like I have like 140,000 coins. I can buy any skin I f want. I'm like, I'm like Bill Gates with coins. That doesn't make them mean anything. That just means every time the new seasonal stuff comes by, I just collect all the skins and I move on, you know? Um, it's really easy to farm credits in the game. If this stays, maybe could work. I don't, I think that's the problem. Uh, that's the only way to survive in today's market. Agreed. It's definitely still possible, but agreed. The FUTS has a beautiful shirt. Okay, fuck you, dude. You're actually in chat right now. I see you. A good way to prevent cheats is a regular, like a register that the PC has. Okay. Like if you get banned, you can't play on that PC. So you're talking about hardware ban. The graphics card is already registered, but the user doesn't know what part of the hardware is banned. I don't even know if they, I know they've done some hardware bans, but that's a very drastic one. I do, I understand though. This is like, this isn't, you know, like this needs to happen. This is a suggestion. I'm okay with suggestions. Suggestions are good. Ranks should have a level 50 to one bronze star requirement. If you want, if you, if it went free to play, it would both slow down cheer and smurfs drastically. I wouldn't go more than 50. 50 is kind of already kind of tough. 
And you go free to play. They'll make skin stuff cost a lot of money like Valorant because it's free. That's a valid excuse. Okay. I just like that you can grind and get skins and it's not hard with the, how the currency works. Yeah, but that's the that's kind of the problem though. Is is Do skins even mean anything anymore? Like, do they? Like, th th I'm thinking about it. Like, who wins? I guess the casual players because they just get all the skins for free and move on. You know, you play a couple arcade games, farm some loot boxes and move on with your day. You know, I'll have all the skins two days into the patch. You know? The Pink Mercy skin. Okay, we'll talk about the, let's talk about the Pink Mercy skin. Okay? You know how many people want the Pink Mercy skin now and have asked Blizzard to come back and give him a second chance to get it? Everybody wants it now, and it's such a valued skin because you can't get it anymore. You can't get it. There's no way. You can't farm tokens. You can't do all this. You had to have donated it to breast cancer when they did it years ago. That was the only way to get it. And people are obsessed with that skin and they want it so bad because they can't have it. You would make a lot of skins like that. I think that's almost like a good way of doing it, right? The collector's item. Dear God, if that happened, there'll be a battle pass. Yeah. That's the point. <clears throat> Once you have the free to play would probably bring in battle passes to earn cosmetics, which is definitely not for me. Okay, why not? Now, if they made the Overwatch, base Overwatch free to play and needed to buy the battle pass for cosmetics, but gave players a battle pass automatically if they're playing PvP through Overwatch 2, that wouldn't be too bad. Wait, what? Now, if they made the base Overwatch free to play, I don't think this person understands how Overwatch 2 is going to work. And needed to buy a battle pass for cosmetics, but gave players a battle pass automatically if they're playing PvP through Overwatch 2, it wouldn't be that bad. Lord, I think I worded my statement correctly. I've reread it so many times. Well, my friend, I'm just going to be honest with you. You did not. Um, if you're saying just because you had Overwatch 1, you should get a free battle pass, that's, that's terrible. Um, we've had this game for five years with tons of free content. It's time. It's, as players, it's time to pony up, dude. We're going to have to pay again. And the best part is with Overwatch 2, if you don't want to pay, you don't have to. You still get to play PvP and all this in arcade and quick play, just like you have been with an updated graphics and engine. You just don't get. You just don't get the PvE aspect. And if the Battle Pass is a thing, then you don't get those skins. Nothing wrong with that. You want new content? <clears throat> you know how to get it. I think competitive mode could stay paid as is. At least at the beginning, it'll solve most conserves and let people see how the other mode, how it goes in the other modes. But who gives a fuck about smurfing in quick play? That doesn't make sense. Do you think people are going to go cheat in quick, in quick play and go smurf in quick play? You, could only, you only cheat in quick play if you just literally have nothing better to do. Like, that doesn't make sense. I don't, I don't know. Like, you're just asking to get... I don't know. Because I feel like people cheat because they want to be high level and they want to be able to brag about it. And they also want to have fun in their own, like, sick, weird way. Um, I, I don't, that doesn't make sense. I just, I, I, I understand the idea, but it just won't happen. Give everyone who paid for the original Overwatch a crazy skin slash emote pack and let the game be free. Um, this is just like, I mean, I, I don't, I, I honestly wouldn't be surprised if we did get something for having Overwatch 1. Um, again, this is kind of like the, I was here first mentality. Uh, but you know, I think we actually will get something like that. I mean, not exactly that, but somewhere, somewhere. I said you have to be level 100 higher to be able to play comp. It'll save a lot of issues with Smurfs, and it'll also solve a lot of issues of people who just started playing, getting in comp matches, which means an L because they don't know how to, they don't know what they're doing. Okay, here we are. We're kind of getting into that mentality of, oh, we have new players. They're not going to understand how to play. If a player is brand new to the game, they're going to be like silver or bronze most likely, unless there's some crazy CS:GO pro, and maybe they'll get like low plat because their aim is insane and they're playing dps and then like like think of like how when shroud played remember when shroud played he was awful game sense wise but he had great aim right but you wouldn't you wouldn't be mad about having shroud on your team because you could probably help him out and teach him a few things and he'd still f be shooting everything with extreme accuracy so if he's in your rank if he's in your rank and you're like oh he's new he probably has a lot better skills than you and you could help him a little bit and win that game this is a very scary mindset of be like oh but the new players they'll ruin it for us if they're new and then you're elo you're probably bad i'm sorry 
Because if you have all this knowledge of how to play the game, somewhere it has to be lacking. Because let's say you're gold, right? If you're gold and you're a five head and you have the greatest strats and you understand how to play Overwatch at a much higher level, your mechanics must be f dog. Because it has to be taken out of somewhere. Because if you had crazy game sense, if you had crazy game sense, it's got to be coming from somewhere, right? I didn't plan on doing this as a segment. Now we are. Now we're now we're in it. So it's too late. Um. So basically, think about that one. Think about that one for a second. Right. Okay. This will work out great. Of course, problem with cheating and smurfing. But the level 25 thing already stops a lot of it. I think that's the biggest barrier. True. It comes worse. It must be an option of phone number authentication. Okay. Shouldn't wait till you get level. They should wait till you get level 100. By that, I mean the game ain't easy the first time you jump in. There's a lot of characters. Learn the maps, play styles, teamwork, etc. Maybe not for the, the surfing. I guess smurfing people. But the new players that join want to get a little bit more levels so they can take the time to learn but like this mentality right here like this honestly you know this is this is a very constructive way of, of you know this isn't like a, a mean comment of like oh you know fuck this shit like they're trying to be helpful and i appreciate that a ton like this is this is how you should in my opinion like be it in stating your opinion on stuff like that um but the problem is is do you think right now that there's never any new players to overwatch ever like, like, do you think this game is so dead that there's never any new people playing? Right? Because I'd, I'd be very inclined to tell you that's not the case. There's always people leaving and there's always people coming in. It's just the rates of each side. At this point, there's probably more people leaving than people joining. But there's probably still a lot of people that pick up the game and are like, let's try this. My friend said it. I wanted to play it let's give it a shot so all of a sudden though now they have to be level 100 because there's a mass influx of them well that's why I think 50 is a good number to prevent smurfing or to, to, to deter smurfing and cheating not to deter new players because you want people getting in and playing the game. If you sit there and say, I don't want new players on my team because they're going to suck. If you're getting new players on your team, I'm sorry. You probably are in the spot where you suck already. So, moving on. Start advertising more. Agreed, but let's see what, you, what else. If there's only people playing the game, wait, if there's only people playing the game, know about it, and events related to it, you won't be able to grow the player base. Okay, good thought. Warlords got like, I don't know what that game is, four or five of my friends to start playing it because they advertise on TV. Legion had something kind of like it a week before release, and it's nowhere as good word-wise. I've never heard of either, either of these games. I'm sorry. For starters, though, I guarantee Overwatch 2 you'll see everywhere. It's going to get fucking ass blasted all over the place. There's no way they don't advertise it. It's just why advertise a game that's four or five years old when they're working on a new one. The Smurfs wouldn't be too bad, but the cheats, oh damn, that's a lot of cheats. Again, what we talked about earlier. 20 bucks ain't not ain't much. My concern over PvP going to free-to-play would be one introduction of items that give you advantages over those who don't buy them. Um, competitively, that'll never happen. Cos two, cosmetics being made buy-in only, but what's the problem with that? Because then that becomes a very sought-after item. You know how to get it. Or you could, and, and I don't, okay, the buy and only, I guess I have a problem with. I can I can understand that being an issue. I think it should be something that you have to hard grind for. Like, let's say it's credits, right? Let's say it's 400 credits, and the only way to get credits is to work your way through your battle pass, right? Or buy them. Let's say you pay 10 bucks for a battle pass, and a battle pass has, an, gets, has like 2,000 credits stored inside of it that you could work your way through. You could end up working your way up to enough credits to buy it um, through that system. And even buy, remember in Fortnite, you could actually, if you bought one battle pass 
or even if you didn't buy the battle pass, if you just kept playing over time, you could end up buying a battle pass with credits. And then over time, you keep playing and just keep using the credits on the battle passes. And you just accue battle credits by just playing a ton. Right? Fortnite, if you finish the battle pass, you have enough money to, to buy the next battle pass. Yeah, you can kind of just like keep rolling through it. And even the non-battle pass version gave you credits just at a much slower rate. So eventually you couldn't work your way to it. There's technically a way you could end up getting a lot of skins with never paying for anything. Um, or you could just never have the skins and just deal with it. You know, you, you get to play the game for free, right? And then if you play the game currently, you have skins already. You know, it's just if you want these cool ones or these new ones. Three, new free-to-play players are going to get into ranked too casually. This is dangerous. To be really serious about it. That's dangerous. The good thing I see about it is a lot of new players, thus a new life in the game content creators, probably more involvement regarding games and new regular content. This would be huge. It's past gaming content creators. It's, it's player base. It's Overwatch League. It's Blizzard. It's a lot of things. It, it, it's a lot of moving pieces that would that would all benefit. Um, but having ranked be too casually about it is a very dangerous mindset. Um, very dangerous. So like those players that are coming to join us, yeah, they're not as serious as me. I think it's a dangerous mentality. And we're gonna see some ones later that I commented on, and because I, I just I couldn't I couldn't take it. How do you think the PvP going to free to play would affect PvE's payment wall? model if the base game sees too much an introduction of the battle pass system to make up the losses from free to play would more such kinds of systems be too much if they were also in the pve so i think what he's saying is could you buy upgrades in pve that would make pve your pve character stronger and i don't think that's ruled out but i doubt it or would the community be okay with single payment like the original game or they rolled into one system for both uh that's what i said i was like good question i think even now the PvE and PvP are treated completely separate, so maybe there could be microtransactions on PvE, but I don't think they would affect each other at all and are definitely going to be separate. Smurf City, cool. Dog shit comment. Um, tournament, okay. Hey, Flats, huge fan. Quick idea. We introduced the tournament mode, sort of like Rocket League and have a different mode from Ranked. That would be... A different style competitively from the usual comp games, kind of like Rocket League. Edit, please use your voice in the community to bring up the idea of devs among the email ML7 Harp. I mean, that's been brought up many, many, many times from a lot of people. Uh, a tournament of style would be huge, and 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 I think they've agreed that that it would be cool. Um, I think the the idea is how and how freaking and how it would work. It's definitely been brought up before, at least to my knowledge. I mean, Fortnite Explorer because it, it's free to play. PvP Battle Royale and actual survival game kind of never picked up tra traction, but for Overwatch to attract new players, this might be the move. Okay. I never found a free to play a game that I liked. You either pay to win or pay to unlock the customizable options. Personally, I've never enjoyed customizable stuff that's a reflection of time slash skill, not money. But I mean, in many of those free to play games, you can get the that stuff. You just have to grind for it. I think the the problem is the mindset that. I'm not grinding for that because they can just pay for it and they get it, even though I earned it and they didn't. You know, it's kind of like, I get that, you know, that sucks, but it gives you multiple ways of getting it. And the current system just hands it to you. So you don't really earn it anyways. If Smurfing is already bad on console, this would make me never play again. Um, As a mess player on console, Smurfing isn't that bad. It's the people that throw because you didn't swap hero or sometimes if you play bat they throw because the team wants to whine and that does happen calls him full of shit uh, I don't want to go near that um just dog shit I haven't always will think free to play would make a great this game the game it desires to be okay you know the concern we already did pay for this something we have or will access to will not be available for free to play at least no we're already been promised the exact same game f with upgraded graphics game modes in overwatch 2 that you don't have to pay for at all so i don't know about that one um my biggest concern is that there's nothing to do from stop from cheating especially since it's free take cs for example they just do account bans and the person goes and makes a new account even if blizzard did it 
or do IP or hardware bans. There are still ways around it. But you're talking about every game ever. They could throw on a, a spoofer slash VPN to avoid an IP or hardware ban, at least with having to pay. It makes it at least less beneficial to them. But you're paying hundreds of dollars for cheats most a lot of times for good cheats already. Right? So they're already losing financially. An extra 20 bucks, I don't think is the answer. And, and, and can't you get in CSGO comp at level two? Isn't that level two? And then you're not in um, the special queue they have. They like, I forget what it's called. It's like the payment queue, like the trusted queue and the non-trusted queue, right? So they're in the non-trusted queue already. Prime, CSGO Prime. So they're not in Prime queue, right? So I feel like, yeah, it has a lot of problems, but um, every game does, period. Never mind if it's free to play or not. <clears throat> I mean, quick, free, quick play and arcade free, but competitive, I mean, a viable option. I, I just don't agree. Um, I'm going to start moving a little bit faster. Yeah, but I can serve multiple Smurfs like Valorant, CSGO, etc. Okay, again, we've we kind of beat the Smurfs into the ground a little bit. Decent idea. They'll have to monetize it. Since hand, hard, hardly anyone would actually... Wait. Since hardly anyone actually... But what Overwatch 2 was meant for, what which is all gameplay lore, everyone else has been crying and complaining for. Wait, what? They'll have to monetize it since hardly anyone would, would actually, but over what? Okay, this comment just doesn't make sense. I don't know what to tell you, dude. You didn't proofread that even a little bit. Being very good for the better players that'll have time to play, it'll bring a lot of new players, but for casuals that like to play competitive but don't play that often, the skill gap is going to be very hard if lots of people play the game. Let's read that one again. Being very good for the better players that have the time to play, It'll bring a lot of new players, but for casuals that like to play competitive, but don't play that often, the skill gap is going to be very hard if lots of people buy the game. So, this is again the elite mentality, that you don't want new players to be able to play because they will be better than you. So I said, just want to be clear. You're saying you're scared there'll be more better players playing the game. Oh, and this got a response. Yes, he is. But that's just something we people don't play the game that as much have to deal with, right? Can't be amazing at everything, especially things we do casually for fun. Yeah, okay. Yeah, no sh You know? <laughs> I'm just going to say this right now. If you're scared that the player base of Overwatch is going to grow because there'll be people that are better than you. I know this is a crazy concept, but I'm going to just say the easy ver the meme version of why not just get good. And then you can fight that problem yourself instead of trying to restrict the amount of players. So if you're in a class of 20 people and you're 18th out of 20 and you feel superior because you're better than two people. But feel bad because there's 80 people, I mean, 18, 17 people in front of you. You're going to be scared that the class size goes to 200. Because then you'll be 198th. And be even further from the top. Why not work your way up the top instead of trying to keep it smaller? What? Thank you. Not going to lie, that comment is anti-competitive. This is very hypocritical. I know. <clears throat> Flash, you're not looking at the camera. Okay, I looked at it on my end. Where the camera is is technically a little different from perspective. So, my bad. I probably look weird. <sighs> the problem will get even worse. They need to fix the DDoS issue. This is con This is a console issue. Like, the... What, what do you want fucking Blizzard to do about it? They can't even do anything about mouse and keyboard. They can't do anything about it. 
They can't. It's not not their issue. Um, I know you've already replied to, to the smurfing comments, but I'll say this: come play on Xbox for a day. I came from console originally, and I was forty one hundred before I swapped over. Um, with a lower ranked friend, I placed seventeen hundred my first time ever playing. Or I placed twenty two hundred, then fell to seventeen hundred. And see what they face. LOL. It's free to make new accounts on Xbox. We basically already experience free to play. And all you see every game mode is Smurfs. You see four and five stacks on level accounts that are clearly better than they should be. Destroying teams all the time. And I'm not just saying competitive. I mean every game mode is full of Smurfs. Quick play arcade. <sighs> and take your pick. All are never ending stream of smurfs leveling their accounts you'll think the smurf problem is bad on pc imagine everyone playing could make as many accounts as they want for free imagine you pick up the game the first time excited to play and you get put against a team of masters and diamonds when you have no idea what you're doing yet you wouldn't want getting killed over and over so you just quit and there's three likes on it too listen to me listen to me and listen well i understand the hate of losing your competitive points to someone who's clearly a higher elo and coming down. Okay? I get it. Once you cross into you don't like playing them in quick play in arcade, you're just complaining about players being better than you. That's why we have skill-based matchmaking in non-skill-based matchmaking game modes. And f people hate it. You can't even play Warzone anymore for casually because if you play casually, it finds out very quickly what your skill level is and then you play against people that are also your skill level. So if I play Warzone once a month just for fun, but I have good aim, a good like uh, good aim, I get played against a lot of better players and I'm getting hit on the whole time and the only way to get around it is to to get better at the game. But I'm not trying to get better at the game. I'm just playing it for fun, which is what quick play in arcade is Thank for. You. At MGS5 launch, I, I get it for co competitive. I, I get it. PC. I get it. MGS5 is a PS game, and I am the cause of all evil. Imagine being so miserable. Only sense of self is not wanting others to play the same game as you. That was a lot of unpacking that one. Like, this is the ultimate danger mindset. Ultimately, the most dangerous mindset ever is that you can't play quick play or arcade because people are better than you. Why would it matter if they're leveling a new account? If they were played on their main account, unless they were literally Masters Plus, you're probably being in the same ELO because there's only like three ELOs of quick play queue. There's bronze to like low plat, like goldish. Then there's low plat, I would say, actually, I would say mid gold to high diamond-ish. And then there's high plat through GM. Okay? And I, I mean like 3,900-3K up through GM. Okay? And the reason for that is because the high level pop is not very high. Okay? And, and, and that's why. So there's not really, you would have a big fluctuation, but there's still skill-based matchmaking. Are you really complaining that like, like if you're silver and you play against someone who's high plat, they're going to feel like they're fucking GM to you. I get the competitive side. I really fucking do. It, 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 if you're trying to become a better player, it's a terrible mindset. But if you're trying to have some fun, I get it. It sucks. I get it. I get it but once it's a a non-rated fun game that you're upset that someone's better than you at you're doing nothing other than just complaining that's it that's it you're just complaining quick play for free seems like a good idea but ranked with free so many new smurfs and trust me in plat and diamond smurfing is already an issue i think if ranked overwatch would be free diamond plat will have so many smurf accounts that will ruin the fun for the people in but the, I think the paywall doesn't stop that. It's the level requirement, uh, as I said here. As a 3,900 player, I've been up and down the ranks and get bored easily. I have smurfed in the past and still do occasionally in Platter Diamond. On console, smurfing is somewhat, somewhat acceptable with the game, as I can vividly remember the problem that other people smurfing caused me 
to try to climb the ranks. Smurfing isn't as much of a problem now as it used to be, but it still caused issue, especially around lower ranks. There is nothing you can do to stop people smurfing, though. People who truly want to do it will find ways around the restrictions in place. Although it sounds stupid, the only way to lower smurfing is to rank up, and we all know that can be difficult. It's a strong take, but it's kind of the right one. I don't know about the, the much of a problem now, but this right here, there's nothing you can do really to stop it. People will always find a way around it. That's true. You can, you can set a lot of restrictions and you can make it tough, but you can't make it too tough or you're never going to get new players. And that's where it becomes the line that's hard to, to break through. Free to play will only make DPS queues longer since tank is absolutely dreadful to play. This is funny. Possibly true. Um, but it doesn't mean everyone who joins is a DPS player. So I think queue times will go down. Um, but I thought that was kind of a funny comment. I think PvP should definitely move free to play, but cosmetics and other gaming currencies should be locked to PvE. Uh, agreed. Uh, but I think there's a lot of current, uh, a lot of fun to be had uh, with free to play cosmetics and stuff. Uh, two factor authentication to come. Okay. On Xbox, it makes the game literally unplayable. Well, millions of players, meaning it would be harder at ranks like diamond and above and then the smurf problem will be uncontrollable dude again like the the smurf problem like people people have locked onto smurfs and just f like they ah! like it's just it's in, you know like it's it's a little nuts what we're never gonna beat it it's not possible it's literally impossible we can only make it easier okay i said it it'll never go away it never will until until like it becomes like a government law that you have to tie your social security account number. It sounds oddly like Korea for a second. Your social security number to an account and that's it. That's it. Until that happens. And even in Korea, I'm sure it's still it's still doable at that point. It'll become be it'll become better. That ain't going to happen, though. Let's be honest with ourselves, okay? Let's be honest with ourselves. Um, There's a new comment. I'm, this one, you're in chat. I, I read your comment earlier. Thank you. Um, as many others said, Smurfing can be horrendous compared to now, but overall, I think the game would do better. PvP, free to play, okay. Um, free to play, a person had to implement an abusive microtransactions in order to meet the money quota. Um, okay. Forget about cosmetic loot boxes. It's going to be pay to win, unfortunately. That's just wrong. That's literally just false. It has a com very heavy competitive scene that makes no sense. That makes literally no sense. None. Zero. How is it going to be pay to win? Because you got a cooler skin? Stop it. I think, because, oh, this is a good one, it looks like. <clears throat> I definitely think the key to success of Owl. And the Owl fran fan choice or fans, I think would be to see free to play. As a flat Xbox player, however, I'm concerned about the matchmaking implications of having a bunch of newbies in the servers who may be mechanically good but likely awful game sense. Okay, it's looking familiar. And to a greater extent, I'm afraid of that sort of focus on the esport will encourage devs balancing more towards pro play. Uh oh. Overall, that's probably a good thing. Okay, I'm glad we realized that. But I'm worried that that'll mean the meta at my level on console could become a sort of choose X hero to win. That already exists. We do know that, right? The reason it doesn't at your ELO is because nobody wants to play that hero. Like Brig. Or they know they do pick that hero. They don't know how. I do think any concern I have about the implications of the game, and honestly, they're kind of console-specific fears, I think... On PC balancing towards pro or at least top level play is always good. Are outweighed by my desire to see Owl succeed. So yeah, give us that free to play. Okay. Well, at the end, we release the same one. What I say? I think it's a dangerous mindset to to have to be afraid of how bad new players will be. If they're in your rank, then well, see, I don't change. If they're actually bad, the matchmaker will do out of them what they do with all players. Adjust their rating. I wouldn't be worried about this at all. I stand by that. Even now. <clears throat> Rank should be free, and I hope the add achievement skins. That's a console right there. Um, Get rid of 2CP. God, it's a green shirt. God damn it, dude. Great Smurfs galore and lower ranks. Here we come. Paywall doesn't stop that already. Part 
Pay is PvE, the game will be known. PvP will be fray. Wait, the game is what we know with PvP will be fray. No, no, that's not true. You get you only get the PvP for fray for free currently if you actually own Overwatch One. That's it. So if you don't own Overwatch One, like currently, you won't get it free. So you'd have to buy it currently. That's what we're talking about is free to play. Quick play, free to play, ranked after buying. So as how many more smurfs they found in Overwatch than in Paladins when I thought it would be the other way around. Maybe free to play would solve things, question mark. I don't know much about Paladins, so. <clears throat> <clears throat> Where was I? I don't know if this would fuck low rank players even more because nobody's willing to play as a team already, or more experienced low level players would climb up a rank or so or so more easily. Because there'll be no more, so many noobs to gank. I can definitely see benefits of everything above, maybe including diamond. Um, is there anyone who played? Wait, all right. Agreed. It would be good to go for to play. Just f anyone who purchased the game like right before a switch, like that happens. Thank you. Smurfs again. We can't get rid of these little blue people in white pants and hats minus the one chick smurf she in the dress. He says sucks if you buy Overwatch 1. Yeah, but it's like 20 bucks, dude. Right? So if, if somebody new bought Overwatch to play it, and then it went free to play right after, that sucks. But their guarantee would be an announcement of like, hey, Overwatch 2 is in four months, and when it goes live... So you all know, it will become free to play. Like, it won't just be like, oh, you bought it last night? Well, now today it's free. That's not how that works. That won't happen. <sighs> Maybe so you have a level 50 or more to play ranked, okay? Play the game, but how about the problem like smurfing? Already a problem in console and toxicity. Oh my god. I told you, they're everywhere, dude. Smurfing is not an issue in the current game of LMAO. If you can't get out of rank, it's because you're playing like you belong there. Uh, this is a mean way of saying it, but it's true. <clears throat> and there's, there's a big difference between you hate smurfing because it ruins your fun when you try to play the game casually and have fun. You know, you're trying to not get shit on constantly. That's when smurfing becomes a problem. If you're trying to become a better competitive player, smurfing's not an issue. I think the, be, the benefits outweigh the pos, wait, I think the benefits outweigh the positives. It's going to be good. But I can tell you as someone that came to Overwatch from Paladins because of the toxicity in Paladins was overwhelming, that free to play means there's going to be a massive influx in trolling, throwing and toxicity. Overwatch already has issues with that and making Overwatch free to play is going to raise in that behavior because now people have nothing to lose by doing it. There's some way to mitigate it. I also came from Overwatch, came to Overwatch from Paladins, and goddamn, the thought of having to deal with a rampant, uncontrollable influx of awful people a second time scares me. <sighs> Again, this is very much the elitist mentality of don't let new people play my video game, in my opinion. It's very much an elitist, I want only my people that have been here keep the newbies out. Smurfs gatekeep and low GM though. Listen, dude, if you've gotten to, if you got up to low GM and Smurfs are gatekeeping you, if you can break through that gatekeeping, you'll shoot up, right? Because then you're getting better. Because you're playing against better players. You know, I used to get shit on all the time. What's up, Bowie, by the way? How are you, dude? You know, I used to get shit on all the time whenever I played against Muma, LH Cloudy, XQC back in the day. Like a lot of these really good tank players. And now in a lot of ways, when it's here as I play it, like ball, maybe not as much. I'm learning though. Like Ryan and Winston, I can actually kind of hold my own a lot of times. And me and Cloudy have had some f crazy duels. Right? As long as they don't put skill-based matchmaking into quick play. <laughs> it's one of my favorite comments. As long as they don't put skill-based matchmaking into quick play. Well, my friend... That already exists. I highly doubt that considering my team track record in the last few quick play games. Maybe I'm just trash. Probably both. It was the old it was my team's fault. There's definitely matching in quick play. 
Wasn't Overwatch 2 just adding a story mode and everything else is going to be added to Overwatch if you, only occur if you own the current game? Yes. Opening free-to-play means to everybody. By the way, I still fear you because we actually we run we run duels against each other. I feel like it, it shouldn't be free, but it shouldn't be sixty pound and release or even forty. Well, forty is the the number they said for PVE. I feel like having a game like Overwatch should be around thirty maximum since the content is so limited. Oh God, I didn't mean to do that. I thought there was one more. Play online. It should make a solo game option offline where you can practice against only bots and a wide variety of difficulties and quick play. Should be playing. Have you ever explored how Overwatch works? Okay. <clears throat> I think it's a good idea that they do this. They are having going to have a, a stranglehold on the hacker thrower problem. Even if a paywall isn't the problem, they will increase the number of them. Um. Yeah, I, I agree. It should go up a little, but the player base size should honestly compensate. Like, like you shouldn't see as many hackers and throwers. Throwers is a little different, I guess. You won't see as many hackers because the player base has now exploded in size. I don't think the hacker number goes up very much. My chat goes GG every time I load in a game with you. What the fuck? <laughs> That's so mean. Um, all right, back into this. I just don't like free games. Their monetization is usually awful, and honestly, I like way more playing for my games, paying for my games up front, and after that, basically owning the game instead of buying battle passes etc even if the cost is 60 euros or something i'd prefer to have it that way i mean i have no battle pass and basically non-monetized cosmetic system like we do wait a non-monetized cosmetic system like we do now either earn loot boxes or paying to farm credits okay i have a take on this one let me read mine first opinions are fine of course and thanks for the input my take is that money drives more content okay boom that's that was gonna be my opinion anyways listen okay can we all agree that in overwatch right now we are in a very big content drought right can we all agree? Can we agree? Now, before you say, but Mr. Shimmer, they're working on Overwatch 2. That's why. Okay. But before Overwatch 2 got announced, we still had a content drought, right? We got Sigma, and then like a year later, we got Echo. Okay. But Mr. Shimmer. We had events. Now imagine if those events meant something. Okay. Imagine if end of season meant something. What if every time the season ended, it meant a new battle pass came out? You could extend the seasons too, past 60 days. Go back to the old like 90 days or whatever it was. Make it a longer season. Make them mean something. And every time the new season rolls over, there's a new battle pass, which you could earn by playing a ton and earning the credits to buy a new one, or you could purchase. In that way, you can earn and get new skins, which means that the game that the Blizzard has to develop and actually put effort into making those skins, making them good, and making them more often. That way, we get more content, they get more money. Now, if you're someone who genuinely sits there, and goes, but Blizzard, I don't want to feed them more money. They're just money grabbing. It's a f business. The only way we win as a community and the only way we win in, in getting more content is them winning and getting more money. If Overwatch doesn't f work and they don't make money off of Overwatch, Overwatch dies. Okay? Let's be clear. If Overwatch makes no money, we get no new content. That's how it f works. If you looked at Fortnite, Fortnite had its crazy f two years, right? Retro's going to have a good time editing this one because it's just going to be beep, 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 beep. Overwatch, I mean, Fortnite pushed out content every week. Every week you had new skins on top of the battle pass, on top of emotes, on top of all this other stuff, right? And why was that? Because people would buy those skins or they would earn it with the battle pass, right? You don't have to buy them. You never do. But the option to buy them gives you more content and gives them an ability to make more money. If you don't want to pay for it, then don't. <laughs> so we need a Travis Scott tracer skin. Listen, if you don't want to pay for it, 
don't pay for it. And if a skin comes out you really want, you'll probably have the credits through the battle pass to get it. And if you keep leveling up through the battle pass, you can get all the battle passes for free over time. Just don't waste your credits on other skins. If you waste your credits on other... Why Fortnite... But Fortnite died, what, after three years? Fortnite finally started to die. It still pulls better... You want... You want... You want... Fortnite's dead, huh? Okay. I, I do agree that it's definitely died off quite a bit. It is still the number four as of this moment at 8 o'clock on 2-1, February 1st. Fortnite is the fourth largest game on Twitch right now. Number four. Where are we? Hold on. Oh, what's that? We're the fourth row down? What? How many times? We would have to multiply ourselves 10 times over. 10 times over to catch up to the view count right now of Fortnite. 10. And Fortnite is dying. Think about that one for a second. Think about that one for a literal second. Okay? Oh man, I love would be I would I would love Overwatch to be dying right now like that. F dude. That would be great. <clears throat> I think we just found the the opening retro. Anyways, that's how we get us to work. That's how we get both of us to, to, to get what we want. Overwatch makes money. The community gets more content. Creators get more content. Overwatch League gets more viewers. Everybody wins. Everybody wins. Even I'm if Overwatch fire. stays a pay system. Risen, thanks so much for the tier one, my dude. I appreciate it. Thank you. I'm going to watch out, my dude. Let's say Overwatch stays a pay system. Adding viable skins would be huge. Overwatch Pink, Pink Mercy is a great example of that. I'll get Travis Scott. You bring in Marshmallow. <laughs> oh, we're, we're memeing it, but it's true. We could have so much fun with it. We could do so much. We could do so much. Okay. Let's keep it going. There would be more people throwing games, in my opinion. Dangerous mindset. Stand by that. Player base will explode. Like, more free smurf accounts oh can we get a smurf counter retro at the beginning of this video can you do me a favor can if you're here right now can you give me a smurf counter like in the bottom right and just like ping 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 every time huge wave of cheaters also more oh smurfs I'm on fire. make free to play for the multiplayer launch campaign for diehard fans i'm okay with that that's that's kind of exactly what we're talking about are they making free all okay here we go this is a good one I respond to this. If they make it free, all the sweaty kids will hop on. Thanks. So I said, so you're saying having better players is a bad thing? He goes, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying the voice chat is going to be a lot more toxic. I'm not I'm really sure. Fire. I don't think that's actually what they meant. It looks like they changed it. But having more players equals more toxic, ain't it, Chief? Ain't it. I'm just saying to you right now, you already have a toxicity problem. Adding more people doesn't make it more toxic. It just means more people that can be toxic. Like the percentage is probably going to stay relatively the same. Overwatch has his own reputation for toxicity in voice chat. It spawned a whole tidal wave of content for streamers and YouTubers alike. It'll happen regardless if you're free to play. Good take. Quite the opposite. Free to play will make all the casuals hop on. The sweaty players are the ones who already paid for the game and have to be hardcore. Well, that's kind of where I was going to go. That's why I think he changed his opinion. I'm talking about e Fortnite players. You know all the 10 year olds with squeaky voices. Again, this is kind of what I thought this was going to go towards, which is why I lobbed it up to see if he'd say something. He lobbed it up. That it's the, it's again, what we talked about before, the elite mentality of, I don't want new players playing my video game. Not my video game. My video game is for me and my players already. If you're new and you're trying I'm to get in, fire. fuck you. You're not competitive. You're not, you don't know Overwatch like I do. I watch the Overwatch League. I watch streamers. I know how to play the video game. You're going to ruin it. Stay away. Like, bro, shut the fuck up. No, Blizzard only bought 1.5 billion in 2019 and had 20 billion in assets. Can they really afford to make one, make more money? Small family company and all. This is, this is just a dog shit take, though. Like, it's just dog shit. Like, it's a business. It's supposed to make money. Like, if you sit there and like, eh, they're just trying to grab more money out of us. Yeah, well, guess what? If they don't get any money out of us, we get no content. That's where we are right now. We're trying to fix it as a group, as a community. That's why we're talking about this. 
<laughs> I like the idea. I've seen a few of those. Let's make quick play on arcade free to play. Lock off competitive for paid accounts and incentives. Disagree, but also not imagine not count. God damn it, dude. It's the price of hacks are expensive and the paywall doesn't stop people, but it's not basic economics that more customers there, the lower their price will be. Mm, it's not like you're selling apples or selling a program. They keep it high. You keep it the same price because Blizzard constantly works to detect those cheats. So if they're selling it to more players, that means the chances of their cheats being found out and detected go up. If anything, it'll become more expensive to get the good ones. This is why this is why Flats is on his YouTube comments, guys. Sub today or he doesn't play Overwatch. <laughs> Fucking hell. Hold on. I don't know why this isn't already a thing. There you go. Um, smurfing won't be the eating the issue. Cheating will. You can also put the minimum account level or whatever. People would not farm accounts. Actually, you know what? I actually think I just made a great point. So the way cheats work and, and the way Blizzard fights it is they're constantly trying to figure out in the algorithm or in, in the code what are they exploiting to make aim and to make wall hacks right and then once they figure it out they put in preventive measures to stop that right and it's a constant battle that never stops it's why blizzard doesn't publicly talk about what they're doing to fight cheating because if they do they're showing their hand if more players are trying to buy cheats that means more players have cheats more players having cheats means that it's probably easier for them to find that line of code or that code of of what cheats they have so if anything, cheats should be more expensive than if they're good because you don't want as many people having them. Which would honestly, that kind of like drives up the price for them. Uh-oh, that's that's actually a good thing for the cheaters that make money off of it. Man, I probably shouldn't have said that. Um, but if anything, though, it just makes it so uh, they'd probably even be more expensive. So if you're, you're to go back to this one, um, it's not basic economics that they lower the prices. If anything, they might raise them, which would be a good thing. Would be a good thing. Because then it'd be even harder to get. <clears throat> Smurfing will be the issue. Cheating will. Okay, we went over this. I think it would kids to Overwatch. I think it would bring way more kids to Overwatch like it did Fortnite and make it annoying, but at the same time bring in popularity. Um... I mean, Overwatch is very much dominated by a younger audience anyways. So, okay. I mean, Blizzard, anything for Blizzard's money, right? Dog mentality. Dog 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 Money, money, money. They only want money. They're a business, you idiot. Stop it. Um, It would be smart for money, but it would kill their loyal fan base. Elite mentality. Again, if this is you, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. This is, I'm legitimately talking to you. If you are one of those people that thinks because new players would come in, it would kill your fan base and you would leave, you probably should just go now. Probably should just go now. Because what you're you're trying to keep something that's fun from other people. You're kind of a for that. You're not loyal at all. You're trying to keep it for only yourselves. It's actually ironic that you're upset at Blizzard wanting to make money because Blizzard as a big company is thought as like the elite, the big people who make tons of money. Don't those people, as we just saw with the whole Robin Hood thing, not want other people to take their money? Aren't you kind of doing the same thing with you don't want people to take the, your game and have fun with it? Isn't that kind of the same thing? <sighs> I just want to say I had a Smurf combo with a friend the other week and we got rolled in a comp game by one. Also, I want to say this now. I in no way support buying an already leveled account on a lower level. I completely disagree. I agreed. We're on the same page. What we what we know as a Smurf is inevitable. And basically, in the term that technically shouldn't exist, what we consider a Smurf is someone intentionally playing at a level they're not supposed to be playing at. That's true. That's why I always try to say Smurf and alt account. I have alt accounts. They're accounts that I tried on very hard to get up to my level so that I could play on at different times, but they're all in GM and high GM. It's not kept intentionally low so I can pub stomp. That's never something I've ever done and that's not something I've ever tried to do. I've always, whenever I made a new account, made its goal to try to climb on it and played it on the best of my abilities. Um... But uh, 
the way the game determines what level you play at is how you play. All little indicator or all the little intricacies of it. The only way to determine on a fresh account is to play games. True. And of course that account is going to be put into ranks where it doesn't belong until it reaches the point where it's supposed to play at. Now I haven't read the EULA, so I don't know have any idea anything a person that says one person can own multiple copies as accounts of the game. But assuming there is nothing about it, but the best option is to reduce smurfing is to increase the player base so that more players in similar ranges or has stated or has been stated increasing the level cap of competitive play. But honestly, there's no way around it unless Blizzard decides they want to stop allowing people to own multiple accounts copies and somehow stop people from selling accounts in private. This is a very smart take. This is this is I agree with this pretty much all the way through I I don't disagree with anything in it I like it <clears throat> ranked for free ranked as in queue with randoms who don't know how to put wait ranked for free ranked as in queue with randoms who don't even have to pay for the game to ruin it for you elite mentality elite they didn't pay for it. They're going to ruin my game. Listen, if they're brand new and then you're in your game, if you're upset that they're not as good as you, well, well, do I have a story for you? If you're upset that they didn't pay for it and you did, you paid for a game five years ago. It has evolved. You actually got an upgrade with an engine and graphics for free. Stop it. Stop it. FRP on PC comes with a lot of cheating. Getting ranked, getting ranked behind a paywall may be a good idea. Um, disagree. I understand though. I understand it though. I think it said that they should step their report system game up. It's actually very good. Sometimes it can take more than fifty reports to inspect. It. Yeah, don't get me wrong. Like, there's definitely times where it's like, eh, you know, it doesn't do well. Like, like Emong and me have the joke of like when you report someone who's cheating, it's like, oh, we'll see him for the next ten days, right? Like that's definitely a, a joke that happens. But I, I also there's many times where I get on the next day and I immediately got the warning. You know, they could have been banned the next game. You know, the support for the game is abysmal. Yes, I agree. They need to focus on bad on bad customer support. Unsupported game modes, Railroad Baron, and AFK PFP, for example. What? Impressiveness of cheating. Pervasiveness of cheating. If they act, they had no content updates for a while due to addressing these things, I would be fine with it. But this goes back to the whole thing. If you have free to play and it's constantly getting updates and it's constantly making money, wouldn't it be getting updated and more attention fast? Right? Uh, I wouldn't hate if the battle pass. Blizzard, please don't. This person's commented on a lot of things, and they have a really bad mindset, in my opinion, on on the way uh, the way the game works and on on business. And I just I don't know. I think it's they're only agreeing with uh, people who agree with them. PvP is the main focus. What should we do? We update it, push, and stay PvP centric. Uh, so yeah, what you're saying right now is is it's the Overwatch 2 is mostly PVE focus, and you're not wrong, but. Overwatch is getting a major overhaul, and this is the time for those overhauls to happen. Hi, Mac. How are you, dude? Why would anyone buy Overwatch 2 if the most relevant game modes would be free to play? Because it's PvE. It would be make the campaign and co-op modes more of a spin-off than a proper game. Plus, how would they monetize it? Battle passes, skins, emotes etc most free-to-play games have more than just cosmetics to lure people into buying stuff what does fortnite have isn't fortnite's all a cosmetic i don't think there's any competitive advantage skins unless one ended up being busted it's like oh its head was smaller or some you know what i mean like i'm not talking about like mistakes i'm talking about valorant i feel like this is just way off if a flat 21 paywall isn't much of a deterrent, someone willing to spend hundreds on a good hack. I think the smurfing problem could be fixed with more aggressive MMR. Okay. Let's hear it. If someone is Together, in my plat game and showing a similar high skill to ranked players. I'm a low plat player and I feel like I've hit a wall on rain. Could you enlighten my right trash now. ass Not on right how now. to improve? 
BTW, you've opened my eyes on Smurfs. Not right now. Uh, man, a little bit. Thank you so much for the huge five, my dude. I don't want to be rude. I'm just kind of... Sorry. Um, high rank players. Overwatch already has a system in place to detect this. This game should definitely be able to recognize and have power to put them in games that are closer to ELO. With this, a top 500 hit scan shouldn't ever be in a game below 3,500 as opposed to starting placements in low plat. This would also eliminate... Okay, so what you're saying is you want more aggressive MMR, and I agree. That, that would be pretty good. However, though, I want I throw this back at you really quick. How many of you know about competitive... No, sorry. Um. um Performance-based... SR. Chat, give me a one if you know about performance based SR. Give me a two if you don't know what I'm talking about. Give me a one if you know it. Give me a two if you don't. I'm on fire! Man, six months already? Holy moly, you could say things are getting serious between the two of us. Wink, wink. For real, though, appreciate your streams. They make my days a whole lot more bearable. Also, please check on your cat. I am worried. He's the tier one for six months, my dude. Okay, chat. I actually see about 50-50 on the ones and twos. I'm actually really surprised by that. Okay. So, this is for the video, too. Hello there. My name is Flats. Oh, yeah, you guys. I'm just fucking with you guys. <clears throat> if you don't know what performance-based SR is, the way Overwatch works is if you are below 3K, below 3K rating, so... 299 plat all the way down. There exists a system called performance based SR. Now, what performance based SR means is based on how you performed, which is takes how many kills you got, the damage done, how many deaths you had, etc. The game will put that against the average on a scale of who you play against. And it has to my knowledge, the the, the top is like it says like masters plus and then it'll say like diamond whatever right all the way down to bronze the way it works is let's say you're playing in silver okay when you win or lose a game of overwatch chat you typically get somewhere fire. between 25 and 35 Sexy sr boy. if you're 3k and below correct above you get between 25 and 30 until you get into the 4500s then it goes down now, there's an exception, performance-based SR. If I was silver, I'd say I was playing on a silver account, like me, Flats, and I played main tank on a silver account, I would likely get, after a single game of ranked, somewhere between 90 and 150 SR for one game, one game one. The reason for that is because the system would freak and be like, oh my god, there is some monster destroying this ELO. We need to get them out ASAP. And it will give you a staggering amount of extra SR. Normally, if, it, if it's an account that's been there, let's say, I, let's say I bought a silver account, right? And it's been there for five seasons, right? Playing constantly. It wouldn't do it right away. It would definitely give me extra. It would give me like an extra like 20 or 30. Because it would be like, whoa, you just had a crazy ass game. Like, like who are you? But if it started doing that like two, three games in, it would per significantly kick on the performance base SR and I would be getting hundreds of SR, 100, no, somewhere between like 80, 90 and 130, 150 SR per game. And I could shoot that account from silver to diamond in maybe 10 or 15 games, maybe less, especially going on a tear. And... The reason for that is to keep those low rank accounts from being compromised and the people that you're playing against from being compromised. So you can have Smurfs, which are real Smurfs, which are people trying to keep their SR low so it doesn't happen to. And you can also have Smurfs, which are people like they're like mid gold or their, their real account is low diamond, right? So they, they're playing better than you, but they're not playing significantly better than you. They're just better than you, right? The game will realize when someone is light years ahead and be like, oh, God, we have to get them out now, 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 now. And the SR will shoot through the roof. There's many cases of it. I, I can't prove it to you without doing some sus shit, but I'm, I promise you it's a, it's a known thing. 
it's it's how the system keeps from having those low rank games be absolutely destroyed. Now it stops at 3k. Now you could say that maybe it should be extended to 3500. Maybe you could argue that. Thanks. Um pretty sure Blizz bans in waves to hide what they've detected which could be why cheaters don't get yes, banned off purely exactly. reports. Also bring back win streaks cap. Cap. Anyways though, that's basically what they do to to keep your lower SR games from getting absolutely fucking destroyed by people that buy new accounts. Um like old silver accounts, old gold accounts, something like that. <clears throat> It, it, the system exists. I understand you want you know something more aggressive, and and, and the idea here is thirty five hundred. So if you're above three k, you probably don't even feel this system ever because I could play out of my mind on a three k. Let's say uh, thirty one hundred. Let's say I was thirty one hundred, and I played out of my mind. I would get like three or four extra SR, maybe because the performance based SR is gone. But the system's not stupid, and it's like okay, this person is absolutely insane. Let's get him going a little, little bit faster, like, boop, like a, like a tiny little, like a little smack on the butt, you know? Be like, come on, let's go, you know? It exists already. It just once you get to three K, the real one's gone. It's like a slight little after, so, you know. <laughs> 